Hi friends! Welcome to the first video that I'm going to do with you where we're doing crafts. I'm going to try to put out a craft video every day because I know we're stuck inside and things can get pretty boring. So what better way to get rid of boredom by making something with our own two hands and a few supplies. So I've got some supplies here that you're going to need. And here's what we're going to be making today. This is a math tool. Now remember, math tools are not toys, they are tools. We use them to learn and today you're going to be making your very own wreck and wreck. Now if you don't remember what a wreck and wreck looks like, it looks like this. Remember when we used those in class? So we're going to make some of those that we can use at home so that you can use it to learn while you're stuck at home. So what you're going to need is you're going to need a few things. You're going to need some beads. I've got some white beads and some red beads. You can choose whatever colors you want as long as you only use two colors. I chose white and red because that's what's on our wreck and wreck. Then you're going to need either two pipe cleaners or two pieces of string. I'm going to show you how to make it with the pipe cleaners first, then I'm going to show you how to make it with the pieces of string. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take one pipe cleaner and I'm going to put five red beads and five white beads on the pipe cleaner. Now this is because on our wreck and wreck, remember our picture, on our wreck and wreck we have five red dots and five white dots. So we're going to do the same thing with our beads. One, two, three, four, five. And I'm going to kind of scoot those to the middle, not too far, I don't want them to fall off, but I'm going to then get five red beads. One, two, three, four, five. Now that I have ten beads total, five white and five red, on my pipe cleaner, I'm going to set this aside and I'm going to do the same thing to my second pipe cleaner. One, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. Now I have two pipe cleaners with five white beads and five red beads on both of them. So here's what I'm going to do now to make the wreck and wreck something that I can use. I'm going to put these two together and I'm going to twist the ends together just like this, like you would do a twist tie. And I'm going to make sure to keep the sharp pointy edges away from my fingers so I don't poke myself. Then I'm just going to fold it over just like that. Then I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. I'm going to twist it together like a twist tie. And after I get it all twisted together, I'm going to take the end and I'm going to fold it down so that I don't get poked with the pointy end. Now you can leave it just like this and it'll work like a wreck and wreck. See I can move my beads just like I moved on the wreck and wreck. I have five on the five red and five white on the top, 10 beads, five red and five white on the top, 20 beads. I could leave it like this or I could turn it into a bracelet by taking these two ends and once again twisting them together and then I can slip it around my wrist and I have a wreck and wreck that I can take with me. That's how we make it with pipe cleaners. Now if you made this along with me using pipe cleaners, then you can stop the video right here. But if you don't have pipe cleaners at home, don't worry about it. You can also make it with some string. Let's show you how to do that. Just like you needed two pipe cleaners, you're going to need two pieces of string. Now, Mrs. Day has cut the pieces of string very long because I don't know how much I'm going to need. So I made sure to make them very long. Now, it's really hard to get beads into yarn. So what I'm going to do to make this process a little easier is I'm going to take just a small piece of tape. You don't need a big one. Just a small piece of tape and I'm going to wrap it around the end of my yarn. Just like that. So that it makes the end of my yarn kind of hard so that it doesn't squish around when I'm trying to get the beads on it. So I'm going to do the same thing that I did with those pipe cleaners. Put five beads on. One, two, 
See how I'm using my tape to go through the hole of the bead? Three, four, five. I have five white beads on this string. Now I need five red beads to make my wreck and wreck. One, two, three, four, five. So I have five white and five red on my string. Now I'm gonna carefully set this over here and I'm gonna do the same thing with the second string. Get a little bit of tape to put on the end so I can string my beads a little easier. And then let's get these last few beads on this string. Oops, tape's a little too thick. There we go. One, two, three, four, five. Then I'm gonna put my five red beads on. One, two, three, four, five. Now I should have two strings with my beads on them. So now I can do the same thing that I did with my pipe cleaners, except instead of twisting them together, I'm going to tie a knot. So I'm gonna put my beads kind of in the middle of my string. Let's move this tape out of the way so it's not in my way. And I'm gonna give it some space so that my beads have some room to slide around. And I'm gonna just tie a knot. So I'm gonna be really careful. I'm gonna take both of my strings. I'm gonna loop them around like this. So you're making a loop. Then you're going to pull both of the strings through the loop and you're gonna just pull it tight. So you've made a knot, and I'm gonna check with my beads. Nope, they can't come out. I'm gonna do the same thing to the other side. I'm gonna give some space to my beads. I wanna make my knot right about there. I'm gonna make a loop, pull it through, and there's my knot. So here's my wreck and wreck, and if I wanted to turn this into a bracelet, I can just tie it around my wrist, or have your parents help you tie it around your wrist if that's a little easier. And then, after that, you can use your scissors to very, very carefully, or have an adult help you, cut off the extra string. So Miss Day is gonna hold the extra string, and I'm going to very carefully use my scissors to cut off the extra string, and there we go. I've made a wreck and wreck with string, in beads and I've made a wreck and wreck with pipe cleaners in beads and this is a wonderful math tool that you can use every day to help you add and subtract. Thanks for watching.